Welcome back to another game of Spirit Island. In this video, we are going to be doing Wildfire into Habsburg 6. I've been avoiding Habsburg um, just because I do not like playing against this adversary. Um, but it is time to give it another play. We'll be doing some Wildfire. Um, I've actually never done this matchup before. I've been told mixed things. Um, I've been told it's a good matchup. I've also seen Wildfire players just, just get completely demolished. So let's see... Um, how this plays out. Mountain is the starting explorer, and that's not too good for board E because now both of our buildings are going to be adjacent, giving the extra two damage to my B2, which means uh, B2 is going to be uh, blighting and loss conditioning. And I think we use our G3 here, or uh, G2 here, getting a minor and building a plan off that. We're going to put this presence over here in this mountain. Killing the Explorer, and we're going to push this to Han over here to be to uh, E1. And we're prioritizing zeros and fire plants. We have Bird's Cry, Flesh Rot, Song of Sanctity, and Twin Days. Um, these are not very good cards with Wildfire. Um, I think the most interesting thing I could do here would be... Um, yeah, these are just not good cards. Probably, probably Bird's Cry Warning is the most interesting, as I can use this card to prevent Dahan destruction, and then uh, the Dahan will trade. So let's grab that. The other card is just not good. Disease is pretty bad into Habsburg. Twin Days, we likely don't have the um, the card place to play this, or the energy. And then Song of Sanctity um, might work. I mean, it's Blight Removal, but I mean, I think we need to be more proactive, so... I'm going to be playing um, Flames Fury this turn. Flames Fury gives us one energy, and it gives us plus one damage on all of our powers, making our left innate doing two damage this turn, and we're going to do that to kill the town on E6. Remember, Habsburg Towns, regular towns have four health, but if they're in Blighted Lands, this is level four, they only have two health, killing this town. The big benefit to this play is I'm going to gather from E7 into E5, and then... Um, Basically, if it's Sands or Wetland, I'm going to dodge and explore. Thank you, Board E, for being very busted in solo. Okay, Mountain Build gathers, and the Explore is Jungle. And that is actually the only Explore that would still hit. So that's um, kind of unfortunate. And this is where we would be able to, we will be able to use Bird's Cry Warning on my uh, E3 here in the following turns. We're going to choose the G3 here, going presence from top track. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to put my presence here in E5, adding a blight, killing the town. And I only get one play this turn. Don't really think I can do anything. I mean, they're going to build here on E7. Nothing we can really do there. Um, they won't have to gather, at least. Another option is I could choose to, instead of killing the town on E5, I could choose to not blight, putting a presence in E7, going two presents from bottom track. But then I'll have to gather, gather. Yeah, no, that's not an option. Yes, yeah, so it looks like we'll just be going blighted. Um, I don't think there's anything we really can do about that. Yeah, just wildfire. Even this matchup doesn't even seem very good for wildfire. Um, okay, let's see what the events are. Urbanization, does nothing, stricken, retreat, nothing happens, mountain ravage, jungle build gathers, explore is, wow, jungle again, and that's, that might actually be pretty good for us, um, and we do have to escalate, but we have five blight, so we do not have to escalate, time passes, yeah, I think that's pretty good, because we've opted to do the play with birds cry warning, um, to basically have the Dahan survive, trade with the land. Um, I think we also play Asphyxiating Smoke. We go Presence from bottom track here. And I believe we just grow into here. We'll have one point of damage. I mean, we could choose to not Asphyxiating Smoke. Instead, we could choose to play um, Threatening Flames instead on E7.
Let's get a minor. That's like looking for a defend. Well, that is a that's a card. We also got a shore seas with hatred. Badlands Wilds. It's also Fire Plant. Um, we also drafted Razor Sharp. That won't do anything. I think it's probably favor as a way to defend blight removal. Gives us an uh, an answer possibly for my E3 the following turn. So I think we grab uh, favor. This is one of my favorite miners in the game, if you were wondering. And we um, we have the two fire. So our special rule, we are going to blight in our E7. So it does um, preach fire, do one damage. We do two damage there. We then have to add a blight because we have two fire. We go blighted. Downward spiral, sure. And uh, now that there's a blight here, this town just dies. We now have our innate doing one damage because we have three fire. Killing an explorer and then we'll use threatening flames to fear pushing this explorer out into E1. And then we are going to use birds cry warning for the top part. The next time to hunt would be destroyed in target land, destroy two or fewer. We're going to do that over here in E3. So basically this allows the Dahan to trade with both towns here. And then I'll have like favor um, plus these two cards to kind of solve that land next turn. Downward Spiral, we're going to destroy our presence in E6. Destroy the Anat, or no, we are Investigations, um, add an Explorer, we're going to add it over here to E6, Beast Destroy, Dead Explorer, and that is it with this card, if your card, Strife to a Town, um, I mean, we have to add it here, okay, let's do our Ravages, this Blights, the Dahan Counterattack, doing 4 damage, killing both towns, the Dahan don't die because of Bird's Cry Warning, Jungle build, gather, and the explore is coasts. Of course it would be, because that would probably be, it. I mean, that's by far the worst uh, explore for us. We're trying to dodge coasts because, um, remember, we're not taking escalations. So, And we do have that lovely Habsburg reminder card that's going to poop a city down um, right on the, uh, the coast ravage for us. So that's pretty exciting. Um, yeah, that's not good for us, especially this uh, the sands here. Okay, so I think this is where we G3 here. One, two, three, four. We just get a ton of energy. And we might actually do some cascading here. Um, I think we might actually grow into my E2. Well, it just depends. I think we do E2, and then we make this our big problem land. Okay, we play there. Let's play our three cards. We're going to have the defend four here. That will actually fully defend the land. We can use flash fires, one fear, kill the explorer. So this land will be completely dealt with. And I could choose to push the bite. We're not going to. Wherever I put this presence, I get to do two damage plus the innate, which will be two more damage, which is four, three, four damage probably do it on this mountain here it does give us a cascade of blight blight it's probably fine and we get we lose to increasing aggression but that's probably okay i could instead grow into e1 killing these pushing the dahan to here but then this lands a problem no okay i think we just grow into e2 and we do two damage and then we have to add a blight Blight, Cascade into E1. And actually what we'll do is we'll push this Blight from... What is it? From Favor, and then we'll actually Cascade into that land. There we go. Now we'll have that innate to at least heal some Blight. And then we get to do two damage, because we have four fire and two plants. We'll kill a city and an explorer. Downward Spiral. We're going to destroy a presence over here on E6. Events. Far off war touches. Add a fear card. And we actually cannot choose the four fear and all of that because we lose the game. But we can choose to destroy a town. Sure, destroys a town. Adds a Badlands. Add that Badlands to E2. 
gathered the Han into a land with the Han setup symbols. Um, I guess we'll gather into E5 again. Actually, we'll gather one to Han into E5. Your cards, push gather, one invader. Um, I guess we'll go into E1. Jungle Ravage. Coasts build, gather. Explore is mountain. No escalation. We have a reminder card. We're going to throw that city down onto um, strike E1 or uh, E2. Then we got to add some towns to the inland lands with the fewest, uh, fewest blight. So it goes boom, boom, and boom. Okay. Fixating smoke. Two fear. Killing this town. And this is. I know I say this a lot, but this is why I do not like playing Habsburg. Um, like, we were close to just winning, and then they just plopped down a ton of buildings, and now I have to continue playing. And then there's also, like, five... There's, what, five stage ones, six stage twos, or six fear cards to kind of tear through. There's just so many fear cards we got to fight through. It's, it's rough. We'll use the red innate, removing a blight. We're going to remove, um, remove one of the blight on E2. The good news is... I. I think we've won the game. Um, we are in pretty much an amazing spot. We have the um, we have my innate for this land. We have a defend four for this land. Um, we're gonna gain a minor power here. Um, Rolling bog, excellent hit. It's zero cost fire plant. We're gonna grab that. Um, the other cards, I mean, can't hit blighted lands. Um, really, we just want the zero cost on element. We'll play this card. We'll play uh, Flames Fury. Actually, we'll play that card. We'll play Fixating Smoke. And dang, we, we, I was thinking if we could like split the damage, but it does not look like that will happen this turn. Um, I think we have to use Flames Fury this turn, as well as um, we could do something with this. Three, four, five. We don't need to do Flames Fury then. Maybe do Asphyxiating Smoke. Because Favor gives us Defend 4. Rolling Bog, 1 Fear, Defend 2, Isolate. Oh, actually, we can do it on this land. Then we have the innate, we have three plant, which means we're going to do uh, one damage per fire instead of one damage per two fire, which means we do four damage. And we're going to do the four damage into E2, plus one for the Badlands, fully killing E2. Okay, Downward Spiral, destroying the presence on E6. Actually, there's a good chance that we just kill... You know, let's actually kill the Presence on uh, E2 instead. Because it's not going to come up. Events. Um, stuff has extra health. Ooh. Is this... I think this... No, we'll almost lose the game from Thousand Small Struggles. Because there's four more... Oh, no, no. We didn't lose any to Han yet. So I think we pick top here. Um, so everything has extra health. That really does suck here. Um, it looks like this town is likely going to live. I believe. Yeah, it is. I guess I could just allocate the damage. We'll pick top on remnants. Fear card. Strife in a land with the Han. Oh, we'll throw the Strife over here to this wetland. Coastal Ravage. This will take five damage. And then, um, I guess the Explorer takes one damage. Coastal Ravage, Mountain Build Gathers. We'll gather like this. Explore is Wetlands. And that's kind of why I put that Strife over there on E8. It's looking like I'll have to grow into my E8 in a couple turns. Probably next, probably this turn actually. We have a fixating smoke. Oh, I don't have another plant. Okay, since we have a fixating smoke, I think we just kill the town here on E5. Okay. 
Okay, time passes. And I believe we G3 here. Two, three. This presence goes here in E8. We have three fire. So it does, oh, I forgot to remove a blight uh, last turn. So let's remove a blight. We'll remove it from E5. Okay. Uh, I had to do five damage there. Not five, uh, three damage there. Killing this, adding a blight, pushing due to Han. And we'll use um, if I do these three cards, if I did these three, this is only three damage. Okay. Flames. Oh, we just win the game here. No, we're so close. So flames fury, one energy. And we get uh, plus one damage on all of our powers. Our left innate is going to do three damage. Because we only have one plant. So it's two plus one, so three damage. And we're just going to do that all here, killing that. And then Flash Fires is going to do one fear and actually two damage. So I could actually do that here in E7. Um, dang, adding that fear card prevents us from winning here. But I think what we do is we just... Um, Yeah, I think we actually still kill this. And then we push the two to Han from E7 into E4 with uh, Burst Cry. Downward Spiral, Destroy Presence. Vents. Um, what is this? Partitioned Wilderness does nothing. Pestilence does nothing. And Clever Cooperation does nothing as well. Fear Cards. Isolate, Defend 2. Two Strife, not matching a Ravage. Mountain Ravage, Wetland Build. Explore is Jungle Wetland. We get to do that right in 8, removing a Blight. Remove a Blight from E6. Time passes. Reclaim. Getting a Major. Just looking for a way to win the game. Um, and... Technically, you do not draft a way to win. Um, we'll just grab Terrifying Nightmares. We'll play these three cards. Oh, I gotta forget a card. Does not matter. Um, we'll use Favor, Defend 4, Whirling Bog, 1 Fear, Isolates, and Terrifying Nightmares for 2 more Fear. Pushing this to here. And we'll use our left innate, killing that explorer. And downward spiral again. Okay, let's win the game here. We are stage three. Dallin is blighted. Add a blight card. Sure. Or add a fear card. One damage per beast. Add it to Han. I think that's GG. Fear card. Oh, actually kills all of this. Okay, wetland ravage. And that is GG. So... A, a victory with Wildfire into Habsburg. Um, I don't know how I feel about this game. Um, was it more enjoyable than playing Starlight into it? Probably not. Um, I don't really think we had many choices, to be honest with you. Um, and this is usually how I feel whenever I play Wildfire. I think um, a lot of times I've, I feel like I'm forced into either G2 or G3 based on um, the energy uh, because we're so tight on energy. And then my card drafts are pretty much limited to either defense or on element fire plants, which is basically what we got. I mean, Bird's Cry Warning is essentially a defend. Um, I mean, a win is a win. Uh, did not feel very satisfying. Uh, if you like this video, like, subscribe for more content. I'll see you guys in the next video.